This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. One of the great things about canoeing is that almost anyone can do it without professional instruction. But you need to understand that developing good paddling technique is important. Not only will it let you paddle more efficiently, but it will make your time on the water safer and more enjoyable. In particular, good technique will equip you to deal with unexpected and challenging water and weather conditions. So in this video, we're going to look at a few simple ways to improve your paddling technique and make you more comfortable and safer on the water. Let's start by looking at your paddling position in the canoe. Even though canoes have comfy and inviting seats, and there's nothing wrong with using them, it's important to understand that kneeling is a much more stable position because it lowers your center of gravity and gives you more contact with your canoe. In particular, if you're dealing with any waves or wind, or if you have children or pets in the canoe with you, it's a great idea to maintain a kneeling position with your butt on the edge of the seat. Of course, if you're going to do this, it'll be much more comfortable if you have foam pads to kneel on. Whether you're sitting or kneeling, you'll want to maintain good posture in the canoe because this gives you better range of movement and will help you avoid back discomfort. The second thing we're going to look at is how to properly use your paddle. First things first, when holding your paddle, the hand that grabs the shaft is the shaft hand. The hand that covers the grip is the control hand. Your control hand should cover the grip of the paddle while your shaft hand grabs the paddle slightly wider than shoulder width. An easy way to check the spacing of your hands is to hold the paddle over your head. Now that you're sitting in the canoe properly and holding your paddle properly, you're ready to start focusing on specific strokes. Although we're not gonna talk about individual paddle strokes in this video, one key concept is that we power all of our strokes with our large muscle groups instead of just our arms. In fact, you can think of yourself as a tree where the trunk gives the tree its strength rather than the smaller branches. The way to use your larger torso muscles to power your strokes is by practicing torso rotation, which means twisting at the waist when you take a stroke rather than just pulling with your arms. For example, for the forward stroke, the reach should involve my whole upper body and not just my arms. This means that if I'm taking a stroke on the left side of my canoe, I'm gonna reach forward with my left shoulder, turn my body to the right. Now when I plant my blade in the water and pull on it, I'm gonna be pulling with my whole upper body and not just my arms. As a final note, it's worth mentioning that when paddling a canoe in tandem, paddlers should be paddling in unison on opposite sides of the canoe to help keep the canoe going straight. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel because we have lots more canoeing tips and tricks coming your way.